What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode with your boy Franklin. If this is your first time, thank you for stopping by. Okay, um, welcome to the segment that I call Story Time. Story Time is where people send me um, their stories via email and if it resonates well with me, I convert it to a video um, upload or live stream like this and hopefully we can all learn from it, all right? But before I crack on with the story time, this episode is sponsored by Sendwave. Sendwave is basically an app that you can download within the two shakes of a duck's tail, right? Sendwave allows you to send money from the United Kingdom, United States, um, Ireland, Italy, uh, Spain, to Nigeria, Ghana, Tanzania, Uganda, and Kenya, right? If you use my promo code Franklin, the way my name is spelled on my channel, you get five pounds five dollars and or five euros added to your first transaction but there's an interesting offer going on between the first of september uh till the 7th of september 2020 right send wave has basically got this promotion basically if you use my promo code instead of the five dollars five euros or five pounds you get ten dollars 10 pounds or 10 euros added to your first transaction. And if you're sending money particularly to Nigeria, you get an additional 4.5% the value of your transaction added to the money that your recipients will get in Nigeria. It runs from the 1st of September till the 7th of September 2020, okay? After that day, if you use my promo code for the first time, you get the five pounds, five dollars, or five euros. Does that make sense? And you can share the promo code with your friends and or family. Download Sendwave and get cracking. Now, this woman sent me an email, said, you know, just one of you subscribers. By the way, if you want to send me your stories, you want to get in touch with me, my email address, if you're watching this on YouTube, look in the description below. You find my contact um, email address, foodchannel1960 at gmail.com. You can get in touch with me okay now the long and short was um she said right from the day dot that she met her man been dating and all that they initially met back in africa and then they kind of traveled abroad to the uk individually right she came here first then about a couple of years later he then came here and then they met here they kind of re you know ignited their uh, they kind of took a break back home due to a slight difference between both of them and then they met here in england and then they kind of rekindled you know the fire and then they went back dating and stuff like that but she said there's a, there's a big but the mother-in-law let's say husband's mom was always being funny towards her and he would always say to her don't worry ignore my mom blah blah blah, blah. i'll deal with her and all that stuff anyway the long and short was you know as the years went past so um you know they were both dating she said she finished her master's degree and all that stuff here in the uk and then it was time for them to get married you know families were both you know aware and they did the african the traditional thing families met back home as well as here in the uk so the long and short was they got married so then she said she got the shock of a life because all through the times that they were planning for the wedding and everything she said you know a lot of families came from back home to attend the wedding here um her man didn't tell her anything about, you know yeah she had the odd issue with the mom you know trying to um, a bit of a control freak you know the mother-in-law trying to hijack the process and dominate everything trying to control this woman but her, she said, because of the way she was raised, she tried to be as polite as possible, but she then look up to her man and expect him to control the affairs and put his mom in check and all that. And he was pretty much really biased and he wouldn't do the necessary things that he was meant to do to protect not just her, but their union, which is understandable, right? Now, this lady went on to say, all the time whilst they were planning and doing everything they had planned their honeymoon you know destination it was meant to be a private one it was on the morning after when they woke up you know they they stayed in the hotel briefly here in the uk and then it was meant to be like a couple of days later when they pack their bags and go to their honeymoon and then whilst they were done having breakfast he then turned around and said to her that ah um mom's um mom's coming along with us so she said she chuckled at first and laughed. She thought he was joking. And she said, he said, no, 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 no. Um, you know, she just said uh, she wanted to make sure everything, 
you know, it's fine. And the lady said, her being, she's an introvert by nature, but you know, she's one of those people that when they, you, they're very angry or they get a huge shock, they pretty much just go into their shell. They internalize that anger. She said she sat there at, and her belly was upside down. She felt this rage and she was looking at him in horror. Like, you've got to be kidding me. So the long and short was he was then trying to explain this unbelievable mount mountain of foolishness that, you know, uh, it's nothing, um, maybe, you know, because I'm the firstborn, blah, blah, blah. And then she said, your mom is going to follow us to our honeymoon destination. And boy, what happened? Yes, she did. Her husband allowed his mom to follow them to the honeymoon destination. I'm not going to say the destination. And then they went to, they got to the destination. So they said they were on the same flight. He he sat, she was by the window, he was in the middle, his mom was by, um, and, um, you know, by his left, you know, left hand side. And then she said they got to the destination and um, so the mom literally was in the room next to them. They woke up, they had to have, she said they barely had privacy. They would have meals together and everything was being controlled. So eventually, she reached a breaking point. They had a massive bus stop in the hotel and she said she wanted to fly back to England and um, the mum was already making calls back home and saying that she had an agenda. Uh, why did she marry her son? And the whole thing became a huge argument. Now, you can imagine, that's a massive red flag because when I read the email, I was shocked. Now, the point here is, afterwards, after the whole you know the whole um, scenario they flew back to England and she said there was a massive argument you know it was a very bad start to the marriage and since then the mom has pretty much been the one driving the relationship so the woman right now when she emailed me said Franklin I'm at the verge of filing for divorce right they have two kids you can imagine they already have two kids and she said it's like the biggest mistake of her life. What do you think? Do you think I'm overreacting? She said everything that she tries to do with a man, he would discuss with his mom. There is nothing you can you can you can say to him that there was one day when they were arguing, he told her that he's starting to worry about his personal welfare because she's hating on his mom too much. So what? Big deal. Even if my mom grows old. Uh, and I decide to bring her into my home to look after her or oh, you're basically going to look for a way to kill her off. This is what he said to her. She said she broke down in tears. Everything that she talks about, he glosses over. You can't get between me and my mom, blah, 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 blah. And he's so withdrawn from her. It's been almost six months. There's no sexual intercourse <clears throat> and all that. So you get the gist, right? So the long and short is this is a spineless man, unfortunately. It's disgraceful, but... The truth of the matter is, there is a ton of men out there like that, okay, who are spineless. I mean, I, I've heard so many stories. This one takes the cake. I've never heard where a mother-in-law will follow the couple to honeymoon destination. I've never heard that. That This one blew me out of the waters completely. And um, that's a massive red flag. That just tells you the relationship is already done. That's not an ideal partner, unfortunately. And sadly, there's already two children in that union. The children are innocent, they've got to be looked after. So this woman was saying, what do I think? I'm not going to tell you to hit the button, uh, leave your relationship or whatever, you get to make that final decision. But um, me just being me, looking at this from outside as a third party, it's a pile of mess and um, that's not the right man for you, man. That's disgraceful. To allow your mom to even follow you, you know, um, to your honeymoon destination tells you everything you need to know about that man. There's no need to go around and dance around this, okay? And I said to her that I was going to make a video out of this. What do you think? Share your opinion. Um, for those of you brothers, okay, that are watching this and um, I've kind of done a similar content like this in the past that you want to have a relationship with a woman and this is not gender specific but i'm talking from the point of view of a man because of the story that we're talking about but for those of you that want to lord your mothers over your wives over your partners and stuff look man you might as well just remain single perhaps start dating your mom start 
from it from from that type of relationship with your mom if it works well for you there's no point dragging someone else through hell it's unfair and then you procreate you you sleep with that person and you create this toxicity and you want to impose your mother on them you know so the lady said mentally she can't cope anymore and she wants to get out of that relationship i agree if you know if that's the ultimate decision she said uh, what do i think so it's all it's all an advice it's all opinion so you don't have to take it you have the ultimate decision but if you decide to move on i think it's healthy okay just whatever you do make sure you make the best decision for your children and i wish you all the best brothers if you're watching this and you're a mama's boy and you at the same time you are subjecting your wife or your partner to a very toxic treatment within the confines of relationship in you know in the name of pleasing your mom you need to grow a spine that's me done listen if you want to support my channel you can do so via cash app okay uh, that's the pound sign franklin uh, there's a link in the description if you want to support me via uh paypal as well those that support me i appreciate you patreon you can join my patreon or my 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 youtube membership whatever man um every little helps man we content creators do better when you lend us your support but if you can't support monetarily the fact that you're watching my content the fact that you can share my videos I still appreciate you. You're a star. You're a legend. It's your boy, Franklin. Let's keep that conversation going on below. Don't forget to download SendWave. Share the promo code with your friends and family. Send me your stories to foodchannel1960 at gmail.com. And I will definitely catch you in the next one. Peace and love. Bye-bye.